इंट्रोडक्टिव क्वेश्चन ऑफ आर एस खुरमी मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग चैप्टर थर्टीन इंजीनियरिंग मटेरियल पार्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हंड्रेड वन सीमेंटाइट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन परसेंट कार्बन एंड नाइन्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट आयरन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हंड्रेड टू मैच द करेक्ट परसेंटेज ऑफ कार्बन गिवेन इन ग्रुप बी फॉर द टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल गिवेन इन ग्रुप ए हाइपो यूटेक्टॉइड स्टील जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट टू जीरो पॉइंट एट परसेंट हाइपर यूटेक्टॉइड स्टील जीरो पॉइंट एट टू टू पॉइंट जीरो परसेंट हाइपो यूटेक्टॉइड कास्ट आयरन वन पॉइंट सेवन टू फोर पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट हाइपर यूटेक्टॉइड कास्ट आयरन फोर पॉइंट थ्री टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन परसेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हंड्रेड थ्री Which one of the following sets of constituent is expected in equilibrium cooling of a hyper eutectoid steel from austenitic state cementite and pearlite question number 204 when a steel containing less than 0.8% carbon is cooled slowly from temperature above within the critical range is consist of ferrite and pearlite क्वेश्चन नंबर 205. व्हेन अ स्टील कंटेनिंग डैश 0.8 परसेंट कार्बन इज कोल्ड स्लोली बिलो द लोअर क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ फराइट एंड परलाइट लेस देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 206. व्हेन अ स्टील कंटेनिंग मोर देन 0.8 परसेंट कार्बन इज कोल्ड स्लोली बिलो द लोअर क्रिटिकल पॉइंट इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ परलाइट एंड सीमेंटाइट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू The austenite is a solid solution of carbon or iron carbide in gamma iron. Correct. Question number 208. The maximum solubility of carbon in austenite is 1.7% at 1130 degree Celsius. Yes. Question number 209. Which one of the following statement is wrong? Um mechanical mixture of 87% cementite and 13% ferrite is called perlite question number 210 a uh, steel containing ferrite and perlite is soft question number 211 the purpose of heat treatment is to relieve the stress set up in the material after hot or cold working modify the structure of a material change into sorry change grain size any one of these question number 212 normalizing of steel is done to refine grain structure remove strains caused by cold working remove dislocation causes in the internal structure due to hot working answer is all of the above question number 213 In normalizing process the hypo eutectoid steel is heated from 30 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius above the upper critical temperature and then cooled in steel air true question number 214 which one of the following statement are true for annealing of steel steel are heated to 500 to 700 degree celsius cooling is done slowly and steadily internal stresses are relieved answer is all of these question number 215 the temperature required for full annealing in hyper eutectoid steel is 30 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius above lower critical temperature question number 216 in full annealing the hyper eutectoid steel is heated from 30 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius above the upper critical temperature and then cooled slowly in the furnace question number 217 In process annealing the hyper eutectoid sorry in process annealing the hypo eutectoid steel is heated below or close to the lower critical temperature and then cooled slowly question number 218 in esferoidizing process the steel is heated slightly above the lower critical temperature and then cooled slowly in a temperature of 16 Hundred degree Celsius. Question number two hundred nineteen. In a hardening process, the hypo eutectoid steel is heated from thirty degree Celsius to fifty degree Celsius 
above the upper critical temperature and then cool suddenly in a suitable cooling medium question number 220 the process which improves the machinability of steel but lowers the hardness and tensile strength is spheroidizing question number 221 the hard the hardness and tensile strength is austenitic stainless steel can be increased by hardening and cold working question number 222 the process used for relieving the internal stress previously set up in the metal and for increasing the machinability of steel is process annealing question number 223 when the steel is normalized its yield point increases ductile decreases ultimate tensile strength increases answer is all of these question number 224 Which one of the following statement is wrong? The spheroidizing process is usually applied to high carbon tool steel which are difficult to machine. In spheroidizing process the cementite in the granular form is produced in the structure of steel. The annealing process causes complete recrystallization in steel which have been several cold work and a new grain structure is formed answer is none of the above question number 225 ferrite and perlite make the steel soft and ductile agree question number 226 a steel is heated at about 87 sorry 875 degrees celsius where the structure consist of entirely austenite is it is then cool suddenly at a temperature of about 250 degrees celsius to 525 degrees celsius this process of heat treatment is known as estempering question number 227 in the estempering process of heat treatment austenite change into brenite question number 228 martensite has needle like structure and a magnetic correct Question number 229 The heat treatment process used for casting is normalizing Question number 230 The heat treatment process used for softening hardening steel is tempering Question number 231 In induction hardening dash is high frequency Question number 232 In induction hardening the depth of hardening is controlled by controlling the voltage right question number 233 in frame in flame hardening oxyacetylene flame is used yes question number 234 which one of the following is a case hardening process carburizing cyaniding nitriding answer is all of these Question number 235 The process of inducing the carbon dash carbon steel in order to give it a hard surface is known as carburizing low Question number 236 The process in which carbon and nitrogen both are absorbed by the metal surface to get it harder is known as cyaniding Question number 237 Quenching is not necessary when hardening is done by nitriding Question number 238 Which one of the following generally decreases in the steel after quench hardening Impact strength Question number 239 Induction hardening is basically a surface hardening process Question number 240 Match the correct answer from given from group b of the heat treatment process given in group a annealing improves ductile nitriding increase surface hardness mat tempering refine grain structure normalizing improves the hardness of the whole mass question number 241 question number 241 the machine tools guide ways are usually hardened by flame hardening 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 242 एज हार्डनिंग इज रिलेटेड टू डोरालुमिन क्वेश्चन नंबर 243 एन एल्युमिनियम अलॉय विद 11% सिलिकॉन इज यूज्ड फॉर मेकिंग इंजन पिस्टन बाय डाई कास्टिंग टेक्निक यस डोरालुमिन कंसिस्ट 3.5 टू 4.5% कॉपर 0.4 टू 0.7% मैग्नीशियम 0.4 to 0.7% magnes and rest aluminium question number 245 which one of the following statement is incorrect about duralumin it is lighter than pure aluminium question number 246 gamma alloys contain 3.5 to 4.5% copper 1.2 to 1.7% magnes 1.8 to 2.3% nickel 0.6% each of silicon magnesium and iron and rest aluminium question number 247 the aluminium alloy mainly used for android utensil manufactured is hindalum sorry hindalium question number 248 aluminium has low density and addition of silicon improves its fluidity and therefore its castability correct question number 249 duraluminium has better strength than gamma alloy at high temperature false question number 250 the aluminium alloy made by melting aluminium with 2 to 10% magnesium and 1.75% copper is called magnesium question number 251 the machinability of aluminium increases when dash is added to aluminium lead and bismuth question number 252 the casting ability of aluminium increases when dash is added to aluminium silicon question number 253 the addition of magnesium to aluminium improves corrosion resistance right question number 254 Hindalium is an alloy of aluminium and magnesium with a small quantity of chromium. Agree. Question number 255. Basic sorry. Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Question number 256. Cartridge brass can be cold rolled into sheets, drawn into wires. formed into tube answer is any one of these question number 257 bronze is an alloy of copper and tin question number 258 an alloy of copper tin and zinc is known as gunmetal question number 159 sorry question number 259 mentis metal yellow brass contains 60% copper and 40% zinc question number 260 german silver contains 60.45% copper 35.2% zinc and 5.35% nickel question number 261 the addition of copper to aluminum processes maximum strength after heat treatment the age hardening correct question number 262 in corrosion resistance property bronze are dash to brasses superior question number 263 the addition of which of the following improves machining of copper sulfur question number 264 silicon when added to copper improves hardness and strength question number 265 nickel when added to copper improves hardness question number 266 Beryllium bronze contains 97.75% copper and 2.25% beryllium. Question number 267. Silicon bronze contains 96% copper, 3% silicon and 1% manganese. Question number 268. Manganese bronze contains more copper than silicon bronze. No. Question number 269. Babbitt metal is a tin base alloy question number 270 which one of the following has a 
fine gold color and is used for imitation jewelry aluminium bronze question number 271 admiralty gun metal contains 88% copper 10% tin and 2% zinc question number 272 babit metal contains 88% tin 4% copper and 8% antimony question number 273 german silver contains no silver question number 274 which one of the following metal shrink most from molten state to solid state admiralty metal question number 275 tin base white metal are used where the wearing are subjected to large surface wear question number 276 the metal suitable for wearing subjected to light load is phosphor bronze question number 277 the metal suitable for wearing subjected to heavy load is white metal question number 278 phosphor bronze has good wearing qualities and high elasticity question number 279 the percentage of phosphorus is phosphor bronze is 0 1 Question number 280 Beryllium bronze has high yield point high fitting limit both Question number 281 Aluminium bronze has high resistance to corrosion false Question number 282 Manganese bronze has high yield point high fitting limit and excellent cold and hot corrosion resistance Question number 283 Monal metal is an alloy of nickel and copper Question number 284 Monal metal contains 86% nickel 29% copper and 3% other constituent Question number 285 In conal contains 80% nickel 14% chromium and 6% iron Question number 286 Nichrome contains more iron than inconel agree question number 287 Nichrome sorry Nimonic contains dash percentage of nickel as that of inconel same question number 280 sorry 288 which one of the following metal is used in making electrical resistance wire for electrical furnaces and heating elements nichrome question number 289 in colloy hestelloy and vitalium are dash temperature alloys high question number 290 which of the following metal is used for nu- nuclear energy uranium thorium nibonium answer is all of these question number 291 thermosetting plastics are those material which are formed into shape under heat and pressure and result in a permanently hard product question number 292 thermoplastic material are those material which do not become hard with application of heat and pressure and no chemical change occur question number 293 thermosetting plastics are molded by heating and cooling formed by condensation polymerization both question number 294 polyvinyl chloride pvc is a dash material thermoplastic question number 295 the catalysts are used to accelerate the chemical reaction during the process of polymerizing sorry polymerization of plastics true thank you please subscribe if you like this audio come video and stay tuned for more updates thank you again